So since we started doing this channel, especially like the classic car, vintage car, you know, how to buy and whatnot, I noticed that there's a huge discrepancy in the way that people value cars. What's scrapped to one guy is worth 20000 to another. And my buddy Chuck just picked up this duster, and I think this is a pretty good way to, uh, this is a pretty good example of how that discrepancy happens. So he picked this thing up recently locally. Um, he just spotted it on the side of the guy's house. And he got, it, he got it for a really good price. But what's it worth? What's this car worth? Now, I can wear three separate hats when I'm looking at this car. If I'm looking for a car, right? Something I can, let's say, tinker on for a couple of weekends, throw a couple of dollars at and put it on the road and drive. This car is worth absolutely zero. The floor pins are sitting on the floor of the trailer. I don't know if you can see it from here. The driver's side window was busted out of it. The interiors had weather on it for the last 20 or 30 years that this thing sat on the side of the house. Uh, it's got rust, big rust, everywhere. And the motor's locked up. It's a 318. So, to me, if I'm looking for a car, you know, something, you know, a, a, a project, an easy project to drive, this thing's out. I'm not interested in it at all. But now, let's say I'm looking for a project car, okay, and I'm looking to build, not a restoration, because it's not a fancy car. It's a 1974 Duster with a 318. Nothing particularly rare or desirable about it, other than it's just, you know, an old car. So, if I'm looking at this as a project, I'm saying, well... It's already set up for a V8. If the frame rails are okay, the roof is okay, right? So it's got a little damage here. I could turn this into a race car. I could turn this into a, a hot rod. I can I can go through this thing. This car is probably worth five to seven hundred bucks to me. That's realistic. But now, before I started doing YouTube, I sold parts. I was in the Mopar parts business for ten years. So. All I did was basically, you know, Mopars, mostly A-bodies, 1960 to 1976, you know, dusters, darts, demons, valiants, all of that. So, when I look at this car through the eyes of a parts seller, I only have to glance at it. And I would take a thousand bucks out of my pocket, flip it to the owner, and thank him for the opportunity to take this car. And why is that? Because in part, this thing is going to bring me back, even in the condition that it's in, even as rough as it is, this car is going to bring me back between twelve dollars and $15,000 over the course of about three months. And I say, how is that possible, right? The car's roached from one end to the other. It's possible because right now, all over the world, there are thousands of people who are restoring these cars, building these cars, driving them, maintaining them, and somebody somewhere needs something off this car. Like, for instance, there is some guy in Colorado that needs this section of roof. There's a guy in Brazil that has, you know, his car is all good except this section here is rotted out. You know, this is worth 60 bucks to somebody. This is worth 60 bucks to somebody. And if you have the right venue to sell these things, those people will reach you. So, I mean, here, give you an example. Let's, let's go through this car and just give it a quick dollar assessment from a parts perspective, okay? So, grill is nice, right? Uh, 100 bucks on the grill all day long. Now, these are prices. You can double check any price I throw out here. You could just go to one of the forums that, you know, where these parts are sold, and you could double check my prices. These aren't going to be outrageous at all. 100 bucks for the grill. Uh, these lenses are nice. They're not weather checked. Twenty dollars each. The bezels, twenty-five dollars. The bumpers, the bumper is a throwaway, but this filler panel underneath, which is straight, is worth seventy-five dollars. Um, oh, seventy-four. The rubber here for the seventy-four, because it's got a shock absorber. The rubber is in good shape. That's another sixty bucks. Um, well, let's stay outside the car for the, for the time being. So this fender. The nice straight fender, this minor surface rust down here, it's solid in the dog leg, 250 bucks. 
one little vent, sorry, 200 bucks for the fender. Uh, this door is roached. It probably has good parts inside of it, but this window glass here on 1874 to 76, $75 tinted glass. Uh, these back quarter windows, $40 a piece with the frame. Headlight, uh, the, uh, the windshield trim. This is beautiful. No dings. It's never been like, you know, uh, molested in any way. 125 bucks for this. Drip rail moldings, they're straight. $75 a side, that's 150 bucks. Vinyl top trim, this is all complete, never been molested. This, and we have the corner pieces for it, that's another $75 right there. Viper arms are worth $20 each, all day long. Windshield, uh, let's see, minor delamination. Yeah, windshield's a throwaway, it's delaminated on that side. But, this section of the roof right here, is beautiful and solid. Somebody will need this section right here and they'll gladly pay 75 bucks for it, providing that the channel underneath isn't rotted, but this one looks good. Um, we got rally rims on it. They're worth $25 a piece bare, $40 a piece with the caps and the trim rings. And there's five of them. We got one in the trunk that's complete. Um, it's got a big bolt pattern rear in it. so. If it's a seven and a quarter, it's worth 200 bucks. If it's an eight and a quarter, it's worth between four and 500 bucks. Um, yeah, it's a disc brake car. Disc brake assembly, the whole bit, is worth is worth $450. That's the, uh, the upper control arms, big ball joint, upper control arms, the spindles. You know, all of the hardware you need to make a disc brake conversion. Let's go under the hood. Okay. The hood is roached, but the skin is still good. I would put this on the side for patch sections because somebody's going to have a perfect hood and they just need this section right here. You'd be amazed. Um, okay, well, let's see here. Uh, latch tray with the, with the linkage and everything, it's worth 30 bucks. Um, very nice uh, AC condenser, 100 bucks. I don't know if the right ear is any good or not. It doesn't make any difference. Um, okay, it's a it's a 318 with air conditioning. All of the pulleys, brackets, everything off the front is to like hook up your belts on the car. That's worth uh, 75 to 100 bucks. Power steering pump with all of the bracketry. That's worth 60 to 75 bucks. Um, let's see. I mean, the rest of the motors here, the, the V8 exhaust manifolds. I sell them all day for 100 dollars a pair. Uh, the booster is probably okay. You'd be surprised. These things can look really rough, but they'll be good. The booster and the linkage, 75 to 100 bucks. The wiring harnesses on this are beautiful. So, 74, 75, these are 1974 and 1875 harnesses. And the full set under the hood is worth about 100 bucks in decent condition. And yeah, these are really nice. Are you guys starting to get the idea? Even something like this fender. So this fender is roached, right? It's got dents. It's, you know, the dog legs are on over here. But the flange is worth $75 to somebody who's got an otherwise nice fender but a rotted flange. Um, you can go through the whole car. The, this cowl is in perfect condition. This cowl is worth $150. Now, we haven't even gone inside the car yet, right? The gauge cluster is there. All of, when you break the gauge cluster down to all of the various gauges, there's probably 75 to 100 dollars worth of tidbits buried in there. There's a whoa, nice AM FM radio. It's complete. That's 100 bucks all day long. The heater controls for another 40 dollars. The vent assembly underneath the dash there for the AC only cars. That's worth 60 dollars all day long. Um, let's see. The upper door pad on that on that side is. In beautiful shape, uncracked, that's worth 50 to 60 dollars. This side is roached. The C pillars, uh, the, 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 the back filler panels here, they're worth 40 bucks a day, uh, 40 bucks a pop. This one is broken, that one's actually no, I take it back, they're both trashed. Okay, but anyway, you get the general idea when you take a car like this and you break it down 
into its into its you know smallest pieces, its smallest usable pieces. Clean them up, detail them. Somebody needs that steering wheel, you know, in that color. It's in decent shape. It's worth sixty to a hundred dollars to them. That's where the value of these. I keep going. The back windshield trim is in beautiful condition. There's another you know seventy five to a hundred bucks. I can keep going and going and going and going. The jack is in there, that's worth, the jack, the base plate, you know, the, all of that is worth it. The tail lights are in nice shape, they're worth, I gotta stop now, cause I'll keep going. That's why you look at a car like this, you look at, you know, most people will look at this and say, oh, it's junk, but somebody who knows the cars, who sells these cars, looks at this and says, this is 12 grand without batting an eye. How much you want for this truck? Not for sale. I'll see you tomorrow.